Boy, these things are slow. So, I had a lot of trouble printing. Um, on this one, the piece in the center just kind of came undone. But luckily, um, you can see here, the support really isn't that important to uh, finish printing this. But anyway, um, I have this other, this is off of the Sunloo. It kind of wants to curl up. Um, so this actually uh, seems to be pretty good printing material. And then this one just got hairspray on it. And then uh, this one here, we're printing. Uh, this is a different brand of filament. It had some really negative reviews on Amazon. But to me, it looks like it's working just fine. And uh, right in there. Some really weird stuff going on here. And people doing weird things on the radio. A lot of activity on the band. I have not used my 710 in a while. I couldn't figure out where the attenuator and the IPO was because uh, I had it expanded. And when you expand it, it hides it. And you can't get to it any other way. I don't like camera matches, so... Anyway, I'm trying to print these dragon eggs, and um, I never ever did get this printer to quite behave. Um, I had went to the store and came back, but um, I I got this far with it. But what's happening is it's screwing up in the corners, and the bed is not level and it has a CR touch sensor in it but um, I don't think it does like a bed mesh so um, for some reason I'm just I'm having problems and like I maybe just need a little bit of compensation on the Z offset so um, I decided to just go ahead and pause the print because I was like well we, we know it's not good here, so we need to fix that. I mean, I guess I could probably roll with it and just print, you know, right now and probably be fine. But um, I was going to print some dragon eggs on this, like, hours ago. But instead, I spent hours of time fiddling with this damn thing. So, it looked okay for the most part. Um, I don't know. But... It seems like this thing is just really kind of super funky. So, I don't even dare go into the leveling menu because it wants to do all this crazy stuff when you do. But, um, well, let's just do it. So it'll home itself and do all this other crap. I think this is going to be like my modified printer platform especially because um, it's got an 8-bit computer in it uh, but the only thing that's a bummer is if I did I wouldn't be able to use the dryer anymore and the dryer doesn't have its own display so it's showing me that this is my mesh so what I've found is really I need to manually adjust this thing as much as possible and get it as close to each other as possible. That's what I found. And I guess this corner is just up a little too high or something. I don't know. But um, if you uh, press the auxiliary, it will bring you into here. And sometimes the bed moves on its own, and if it does, like it does this weird deal. So. You gotta be careful. But normally you just put it where you want it and go over there and do the paper test. So, anyway, I'll deal with that later. I'm uh, trying to coordinate the radio and print at the same time and waiting for this to get done. <laughs> 